She's one of our future star athletes. She loves breaking records of the running and jumping kind. And she's got the finish line right in her sight. This is athlete Sarah Walsh, and she's the first one off the blocks on the three factor. <laughs> In just a few years, Sarah has achieved some amazing things on the athletics track. Not just one, but several events. I first started loving athletics when I was nine. I won a gold and two silver in the 100, 200 and long jump. I loved it because I was around people my age who had the same passion for athletics. And Sarah achieved all this despite having some odds against her. I'm what they call an athlete with a disability, or AWD for short. Even though I have a disability, I can still be able-bodied competitors, and when I do, it's a cool feeling. <laughs> Leading up to a race, I'm really nervous. But once that start gun goes, I just want to get over the finish line as fast as I can. Sarah was born without a major bone in her right leg, but we can already see that doesn't stop her. I'm just like everyone else. I go to school, I play sports, and I love mucking around with my sisters. Yuck. The only difference is I take my leg off at the end of the day. And while we all like to collect stuff, Sarah has the most interesting collection of all. This is my collection of my prosthetic legs. I call them my day legs. I have to get a new leg every few months because I grow so much. I also like to decorate them with different colours and patterns. So after a couple of years competing on her day leg, Sarah was crossing the finish line, but not without causing her trouble. Running on my day leg was very painful. Here, let me take a look at it. It's really sore, Dad. I think it's bruised. So my parents found me a doctor who made me a running blade. It's great because now I don't get any pain when I run or jump. I'm one of the youngest people in Australia running on this type of leg. And with her new competing leg, Sierra has seen some amazing results on the track. These are all the medals I've won in competitions in the 100, 200, 400, long jump and shuffle. And these are all the Australian records I've broken. And all that success comes down to some good old-fashioned hard work and training. I train two days a week after school at my local athletics track. Set, go. To keep my fitness levels up, I also ride the exercise back at home. On top of that, I play wheelchair basketball. It's a nice change from athletics. And the cool thing is, my dad's the coach. So with the evenings filled up with everything sport, Sarah still makes sure her schoolwork is done. I'm pretty tired and busy with all my commitments, so if I don't get my homework done before I go to bed, I have to set my alarm and get up early in the morning to do it. And it's that dedication which will hopefully get her to the event of all events. My goal is to go to the 2016 Paralympic Games in Rio. It'd be really cool to win a medal and hopefully it's made of gold. And Sarah, there's no doubt you're our golden girl here on the Three Factor. Yeah, congratulations.